All right, guys. Welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go over a coin called Vulcan Forge or the ticker PYR. Trade about $4.64. It's up a little bit today. And uh, what I'm going to do, just go walk through this real slow. I did with the another coin for a guy was, uh, what was the name? The Maker coin. And uh, go through this coin with you and uh, see if it's something that's worth paying attention to. The reason I'm doing this one is this one keeps popping up quite uh, quite often now in the comments section from time to time. So this is in the gaming sector. I am highly bullish in the gaming uh, area on the uh, blockchain. In my opinion, it is going to be massive down the road. However, there's going to be some coins that are going to do really, really good. And there's going to be some that aren't going to make it, obviously. Um, Vulcan Forge is one that has gone up in the past. It's done a correction and it's still here during a corrective cycle. So that's good for this coin, in my opinion. Here's the first thing. Check this out real quick. Supply. So it has a little bit of supply that uh, is still going to be coming out. You want to pay attention with something like this uh, PYR Vulcan Forge. This is not anything I would hold long term, guys. This is going to be a highly volatile sector of uh, cryptocurrency. So it's going to shoot up. Then you're going to get multiple, multiple X's. And it's going to come right back down. 90% uh, percent corrections on coins like this, guys. So that's what I check. And then I go over the markets. And it's on a lot of uh, exchanges. Good. So that's a good check. Binance, KuCoin. It looks like uh, Gate.io. What else is there? Yeah, Crypto.com too. It's on Crypto.com. So that's good. Good for this coin. Um, let's see. Twitter followers has quite a few Twitter followers, over 100,000. So decent. Uh, gone through the website. It's a gaming sector token. Like I said, I'm extremely bullish. This is uh, the gaming sector is going to be massive. Just really, really massive guys in the uh, sector here. And the website looks pretty good. They have, you know, a lot of partners with Sandbox, Polygon, um, all these other companies. So um, that looks really, really good on the website. You know, I mean, there's a lot of these other tokens, man. They they can, you know, fake this too. So you want to be aware of that. Not saying that that is. I'm just saying it could be a possibility. That's a marketing ploy. You know, there's these other websites out there said, uh, you know, I'm backed by so-and-so. And they throw these big names on there to try to trick people sometimes. So that does happen, guys. Be aware of that. So now I'm going to go over the technicals. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the technicals with... Uh, Vulcan Forge with you real quick and uh, try to let you know what is possibly going on with this with this asset is from a technical fundamentals. That's just a basic cursory. Look at the fundamentals real quick. Everything looks pretty decent. OK, with it. And we're going to check this. Um, can't get much from the uh, weekly chart because it has been around for a while. I go, I'll go out to a three day chart just like so and start checking it out. And uh, there's nothing there. That's telling me that that's an impulse yet, but more than likely it is with a move like that. So I'm going to check it on the daily, just keep going down. And now I got my data to start finding that impulse wave right there. So third wave peak more than likely right there. And here is more than likely your first wave right here. So you can see on the RSI, there's your third wave peak, probably your fifth your second, your third, and it looks like a fourth and up for a fifth. So it came out in May of 2021 and you see it dumped because all the other market was dumping. And from June, it went up to November. Looks like the end of November while uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum were doing that massive uh, move, that B wave correction is what that I think that it is. And it did a correction. So impulse move. Wave one, correction may have ended right there. So let's check out that retrace on that. I'm doing a logarithmic retrace. So you can see with a coin like this, it's going to probably hit logarithmic numbers as it went up. In a pretty short period of time, it went up 4,000%. 4,000% from June to November in six months. So this is a mover. This is a massive mover, guys. And you can see here with uh, it looks like 0.786. 
786 is what it wanted to hit right on the nose more or less let me get to the top of that wick 786 is what it hit more or less so what i do is i'll take this uh put a line right there and go it hit right there and I go, why did it hit? why did it land there? I go check that. I'm like, why did it land there? So it retraced all the way back to the fourth wave of the first wave. So there's something significant, obviously, for this coin in this area. Okay, you can see there's a it's building up like pretty good base in this area right now. You can see in this here and with this wave, that wave, and that wave. So it looks good and it's a good retracement for it. So what I'm going to do next is I will check to see if it dropped far enough for my taste. And we can see that it dropped more or less 94, almost 95%. Yeah, almost 95%. So that's good. And then I check this uh, correction. I more likely can see that's an ABC. You can see a, a five wave here three wave and then a five wave down you can see is a third wave down here lowest peak and then you have mass amount of bearish diver or bullish divergence and this kicked it over here okay so everything checks really really good for uh pyr vulcan forge up on a wave one corrected 78 percent on a wave two and potentially it could be going into the start of its third all right now i'm going to check this correction I'm not going to go into the details of it because if it's done, it's done. I don't want to, I don't go into battles on, oh, this should be labeled this, this should be labeled this. Don't, I just, I don't care. There's, uh, I'm more concentrated on, hey, is it bullish? Is it bullish? I'm going to go with the wicks and you can see, look, yeah, ABC move, a one to one. So perfect for that coin. So that would more than likely, if you want to get to the uh, technicals of Elliott Waves, this would be your A, your B, and then your C. And uh, follows the uh, pattern for it. The wave B is, or the wave C is one times or equal in size to the wave A with a three-wave correction in there. So, so far, so good for Vulcan Forge. All right. And uh, the other thing is now I'm going to investigate that. And I can see here, this is... Uh, probably a five wave sequence down and it's already gone up to those areas so that's telling me more than likely it's finished there so the other thing is too you want to take a look at is that if you have an abc so let's say as an example that this is uh going to become a bearish coin so it's not done with its correction and you can say this is a b c so it's doing a corrective sequence in here so what i'll do is I'll just do something like that. And if you're bearish, overall bearish on the market, this will be your W, your X. And then what you have to realize is this Y leg is going to be about the same time as this leg. So this leg took 220 days. So when it corrects this section over here, this is going to take at least 220 days more or less. So somewhere down to next May, and then it probably, if it won't break the lows, if it keeps the one. And I take a look at that just like so. And the reason I do that, I go, is that realistic? Is Vulcan Forge going to just still going to be in a correction and drag this out all the way until next May? Um, it's a possibility. But the, having a wave look like this compared to that wave, probably not likely the probability goes down. So then I go, okay, this is looking pretty good. Correction is probably over for Vulcan Forge, or at least you have a pretty decent shot at it being over, a pretty decent shot. So now I'm gonna go to this area and I already can see on the daily here, you have, looks like a peak and then a higher peak with some divergence. So I'm gonna investigate that real quick and I'll go out to the 12 hour and check it out. And you can see, that it did a nice bounce off the bottom. And what kind of bounce did we get? Uh, almost 90% and it's up to 98, almost the 2X to where it is right now. And then I go down to the RSI, I check it, I look for the impulse and it looks like you have one right there. So you see the third wave peak, there's your fifth wave. 
and they did a correction here. So this is, you know, this uh, this could be disguising itself. That's probably not a fourth wave, even though it looks like it looks like a second wave. So I'll check that wave and get a retrace. Get a retrace. Yeah, see, it went below fifty percent. So this this is finished here more than likely with uh, Vulcan Forge. So your count is like right like this. It's a one, two, three, four, five. And this is a new sequence. And this is a three wave swing. You can see in here, this is your B wave, your A, B, C, and then back down. So A, B, C, it came down deep, real deep in the RSI two, and now it's in a different sequence. So this coin, you wanna be careful here because here on the 12 hour chart, it's telling me this is like a three wave swing in the RSI. You see, there's no divergence from this, this one to this one. And there's a three wave swing here. So you wanna be careful that with Vulcan Forge, that this is not your three wave, your three wave, and then boom, back down for a C. That could be uh, what it's doing. Very common on these uh, volatile, uh, cryptocurrencies especially gaming tokens that could be what it's doing right there and it, i wouldn't be surprised if it is doing that and it could see how this is this came to 60 uh 50 to 60 percent of this wave so with that move it could easily come back down and make a 70 percent correction or you know 78 percent correction something like that guys so you want to be aware of that um how long did this wave take go from that uh, bottom peak to the to the top of that peak it took it 15 days so how long is this taking you know uh seven and now it's out here it's already at 23 days you know so it's not doing anything uh, unusual so what i'm saying is be careful trying to say that this is bullish could it be it could but it's giving signals of a correction it's just getting dragged up in my opinion so three wave here, and it's definitely looking three wave, three wave ish to me. And from this peak to this peak, it's not far enough. You can't go one, two, three. You can't do that. It's not. I can. I don't even need to put a fib on it. You can tell. So this went up pretty good, three wave, and then more than likely you're having a correction over here. Okay, with bulk and forge. Now the uh, line in your sand, if the correction is over, so you have your trend right here. Okay. And more than likely with the coin like this. So let's say it is doing an ABC, just like so, and back down to these areas, okay? These are the areas you want to do. So you know from its overall trend that what did it do on its wave one and second? It did a 78% correction. So, you know, usually they what they do in the beginning, they consistently do throughout. They have that constant uh, pattern. And you go to the top of that wave. Let me remove this. You go to the top of that wave, and then you can probably estimate that on a logarithmic, it's a 78% correction in this area right here. It can do that. And then this would be your wave one and potentially your two. And then you can check that out and you want to do it off of this low, okay? Off of that low for that. Now, could this thing just turn around and this is a fake out? One, two, one, two, and rip? It could. It very well could, guys. So that's the uh, issue right here, the probabilities of something like that. You know, this does look like impulsive, correct? And maybe it's trying to struggle, go up there. It looks AB to me. So just not going to know with this coin. I would get more confirmation first before uh, getting into something like that. That's just my take on it, guys. You know, that's what could be going on with it. And then look for it off in this area to consolidate. And maybe you might get in a move like so with this down the road with it. So here's your two, and it's going to consolidate in this area, confusing people, and then it'll just whiz up on two or three potentially, guys, back up to these areas. So something like, you know, you're taking a, your wave one, your two's down here in that area, and then, you know, back up to uh, potentially, you know, seven bucks, back from three to seven bucks or something like that on that move. So... Would I get into it right now? No, I would let it play out, guys. I would let it play out to see what's going on. Highly volatile, risky at this moment. Is a correction over with? There's a really good shot that it could be. If uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Binance are doing its thing, this will just 
could be, uh, in my opinion, a little bit of a laggard where you're going to have, you know, it playing around in this area, do that second wave correction, and then do a consolidation area for the next stage of its third wave down here. And then more than likely, obviously, with the crypto gaming token, when people start looking at more green candles in this sector, and then all of a sudden, boom, it just starts, you know, making its way up. Something like that, guys, is what I would be looking for. So my opinion, not financial advice, not time to jump in now. Let's see what it's going to do. You know, once it does, I mean, at the end of the day, guys, if you take a look at that, you know, I mean, you are limiting your risk by uh, by waiting, you know, even though you feel like you're going to miss out on gains. But if this is going to be going into some sort of wave, you know, you, you're, you're looking at it going well beyond those highs up there of uh, what, 49 or $50 or something like that. So don't con to, you have to be aware of what your potential loss first in a, in a gaming sector token before you concern yourself with the winnings over here. Okay. Be concerned with that first right now before you get those winnings in. So just have a little bit more patience. Like I said, this could be, hey, it could be working its way in there and rip right out of there. Um, I'm not willing to take that that risk quite yet with a token like this. If you made it all the way to the end, drop a like, hit the subscribe button. Peace.